Fam, I got a confession to make. Most of the footage that you've seen me shoot over the last couple years has been shot on an iPhone SE, an iPhone 10, and an iPhone 12. Let's talk about it. What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. Personally, I just find it a bit funny how everybody is looking to get all of this equipment and all of this stuff just to get started on YouTube. I got started with just the GoPro and some basic free editing software. Point being, all of the phenomenal footage that you've seen me shoot over the years has come from just stuff that I'm using on an everyday basis. No special software, no special cameras, no vlogging cameras, just my iPhone. Last year, you guys came along with me to get rid of my laptop and then I upgraded to an iMac. I decided to have a desktop computer for all of my editing and everything like that. And to a larger extent, I use that desktop computer to live stream on Monday nights on After Hours, make sure you check that out. Link is in the description. But with me traveling a lot more and live streaming and needing a computer in order to live stream when I'm on the road and things like that, I've decided to add a laptop back to my arsenal. And if I was gonna add a laptop, I might as well add all the other things to upgrade my vlogging software so that I can give you guys the best product possible. Today, we're gonna go through everything that I bought and how much I'm spending to upgrade all of this hardware to bring y'all the best content possible. First and foremost, my biggest purchase was this new Apple MacBook Pro with the M1 chip. I'm gonna spare you all of the techie details because there are other channels and videos on YouTube that goes through everything that's awesome about this laptop. I did make some upgrades. It was a $200 upgrade to go from eight gigs of memory to 16. And then more importantly, I went from 256 gigs to one terabyte of storage. So I had to make sure that I had enough room to do the things that I wanted to do with this laptop in order to ensure that I can edit all of the videos and then run all of the live streaming software. But I wanted something that was powerful enough to ensure that I'd be successful or as successful as I am at home as I am when I'm on the road. So yeah, I did make the upgrade and, or not even the upgrade, I did make sure that I purchased the laptop and it's absolutely awesome. This thing, I think, actually runs probably a little bit better and faster than my main iMac that I'm using at home to do all of my main software editing and everything like that. So another thing that was important to me in purchasing a laptop is making sure that I stay within the Apple ecosystem. Being able to airdrop and how everything is already set up with me working with my iMac, I wanted a similar experience. And that's why I went ahead and went with an Apple product, let alone the M1, because the M1 chip is absolutely awesome. This is an incredibly fast laptop. And to be honest with you, I probably could have got away with buying a MacBook Air with the M1 chip, but I wanted the upgrade and I didn't want to wait for the 16 inch. So I went ahead and got the 13 inch, which again, this is only for me traveling and to ensure that I'm successful on the road. So I wanted to make sure that I had the adequate hardware and software to have a similar experience as I am when I'm at home and I think that me traveling back and forth to Miami also played a role because I had to take my iMac with me and I was unwilling to upgrade and buy another laptop because I had already heard that something big was coming down the pipeline and Apple updating their products as far as their Macs. So yeah, I did buy the 13 inch. I didn't wanna wait for the 16 inch. I'm sure that by the time that April 20th rolls around, which is obviously before the recording of this video, that there will be new products out and I'll upgrade accordingly if I need to. But for now, this is more than sufficient and this is an absolutely awesome product. And I would recommend you guys do some research on this product specifically, the Apple M1 chip 13 inch MacBook, in order to ensure that your workflow and the things that you're doing is absolutely phenomenal and sufficient for your needs at that time. When you add Apple Care and USB-C to Lightning Cable, everything included, including taxes, I wind up paying a little bit above $2,300. The second thing I purchased, and I think that you guys have seen me use these on both my Instagram story and on my live stream on the After Hours channel, but the second thing that I purchased is my AirPod Maxes. Initially, I purchased these in sky blue, but with all of the use and not really wanting to replace the cups, I decided to trade them in and go with the space gray. I know Apple gets a lot of flack about the carrying case, but I actually like them now that I've started to use them and carry them around in order to protect my headphones. But these things are absolutely awesome. And as a person that initially wore the AirPods, 
and then the AirPod Pros, and then now I have the AirPod Maxes. I'm not sure I can really do without these. Like, I'm not sure that I can downgrade and go back to the AirPod Pros, um, but I'm using these extensively, especially during my live streams. And then obviously they serve other purposes as I go about my day and I use them for everyday wear and use for listening to music and talking on the phone and all of those things. But I think that these are absolutely awesome. And I had to get headphones in order to ensure that I hear my um, callers and people that come on a live stream very effectively and things like that. And even for when I'm on the Lapeef Let's Talk channel, um, these serve a really great purpose. Um, they're phenomenal to ear cups. Again, this is one of those type of products that you can go through and look at any other channel or any other um, YouTuber as far as determining whether or not you really should rock with these. But all in, including Apple Care and taxes, I paid $645 for these. The second most expensive purchase that I made was the Sony A6100 camera. It's definitely time for an upgrade, especially when you consider that I'm starting a live stream and there are limitations on the cameras, which is the one gripe that I have about Apple when it comes to both the iMac and the MacBook Pro. In addition to live streaming, I wanted to make sure that I can shoot real footage in 4K when I'm out vlogging. I did make sure that I got the lens to go along with it, and then the ability for you to see exactly what it is that you're looking at if you decided to use it as a vlogging camera. I'm still learning about this camera. I'm still going through a lot of the tutorials on what the best settings are in order to set this up for it to be optimal or to get the best results. But I fully plan on embracing um, using this camera probably more than I use anything else. In addition to obviously editing and using my laptops for um, editing the, the different footage that I shoot and things like that. But I do plan on getting into shooting with this camera and all of the taking advantage of all of the different things that it does. But it is, it's beautiful, it's nice and heavy, and it's different. I'm not a photographer, but again, I plan on utilizing this camera to its full potential, and I paid around $1,000 for this. Next up, we have the DJI Pocket 2 with the Creators Combo. I haven't even opened this up yet. Honestly, most of this stuff I just got today, so I was going through it like a little kid on Christmas because I like toys, I like nice things, but... Um, I could have just got the regular for like 350, but I decided to upgrade to the creators combo for 500 and I'll give you the reasons why. I wanted something that I could walk around with that was a little bit smaller than my iPhone and putting that on a gimbal or walking around with this A6100, which is really, really expensive and it's not that compact. It's kind of heavy and again, I would have to put it on a gimbal of some sort um, in order to ensure that I can walk with it in front of me. But I was looking at a lot of the reviews online and all of the creators that use this, and it seems like the perfect thing to shoot in 4K that has stability as far as the gimbal and DJI does really, really well, even though I broke my drone um, by flying it into a cord, a power cord, and then it got ran over by a truck. But And also I wanted to have something that my daughter can get into vlogging with so this is, or it seemed like the perfect small piece of optimal software. And then I went with the creator's combo, obviously, which cost me an extra $150. I hope that is worth it. But one of the problems that I was running into as I was vlogging, and you can see it a lot in my last video, was the wind noise. And I wanted something small and remote that was really optimal for what it was that I was vlogging on, which is this. And so I just went ahead and just upgraded to the creator's combo because it has the windscreen on the little thing that you put inside of your, your shirt or whatever it is that you're walking around with. Um, and you don't have to worry about the wind noise. The quality will be a lot better. You're still shooting in 4K and it's stable. So it's something that I'll walk around with that I think will make a lot of sense and ensuring that I can get to and from where I need to be without having to worry about damaging anything or it being big and bulky and then I have to set my phone up on it or I gotta set up a camera on it. I can just pull it out and just keep on walking and doing what I do. So um, I'm really looking forward to this just as much as I'm looking forward to using the A6100 because I think that this will add a lot of value to what I'm doing from a vlogging perspective. Next is the Elgato Stream Deck with 15 customizable keys that'll allow me to take my live stream into the next level, which I plan on doing in my next live stream that happens every Monday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. All right, so tune into that on After Hours. Again, the link is in the description, but I paid about $150 for this. And again, I'm not gonna have to do anything 
Um, I've been looking at this for a long time, but I've never seen the need for it until I started live streaming probably, I don't know, three, four weeks ago on my own channel. Um, but I think that this is absolutely necessary, especially considering that I plan on having multiple camera angles. I plan on having different sound effects and all of that stuff that goes along with um, utilizing this to its full potential. So again, I paid about $150 for this and I can't wait to pop it open. I really can't wait to live stream on Monday. It's gonna be so fun. Again, another product that I haven't opened yet that is so small, but it costs so much. I paid $125 for this. This Cam Link 4K that you need in order to stream from the A6100 and have that running into your iMac or your MacBook Pro, but to ensure that you're transferring and streaming efficiently, you have to have the Cam Link 4K or another similar product in order to do so. Again, I know that this is a little bit more expensive, but I spare no expense when it comes to giving you guys the best product possible. Let's go through some of this other small stuff so we can get that out of the way. Had to get the HDMI to micro HDMI so that I could run this cord from the A6100 to live stream into my computer or into the Cam Link that obviously goes into my computer. Got the power adapter made in China. And this is so I can take the battery out of my A6100 camera when I'm streaming so that I can have power going to it and I don't have to worry about it dying if I'm streaming for like two or three hours. I can stream all night long and not have to worry about anything. So definitely needed the power adapter. Got a new microphone that I haven't opened up yet. So we might as well open this up now. If I'm being honest with you guys, this is probably the thing that I sacrificed on. If I had to sacrifice on one thing, it was this because I had been looking at some more expensive microphones. But when I started looking at the reviews on Amazon, they said that this one actually performed a lot better than the ones that cost or were a lot more expensive. Um, so I went ahead and got this microphone. And although you guys are used to seeing the, the gold microphone that I'm usually on, um, I had to upgrade. So. I only paid $35 for this. We're gonna move away from the gold. We're gonna go to all black everything. One of the reasons why I even considered getting another mic is because the gold mic has to be plugged into a mixer. And I'm trying to simplify things, make things easier, as well as ensure that we have better quality and we upgrade and everything that we do. So I'm looking forward to using this. Got another adapter. So yeah, we got a nice little haul here. I'm looking forward to all of my new videos being absolutely great, stunning, great footage and quality, or you can just tell me and let me know in the comments whether or not it's absolutely trash and I wasted my money. I'm cool with that too. I love you guys, I rock with you, I appreciate you. If you can leave me a like for the YouTube algorithm, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We live stream every Monday night on After Hours, my other channel. You do not wanna miss it. I am unfiltered, I am uncensored, and I'm liable to say anything. So I appreciate you guys, I rock with you, I love you. I will holla at you later, peace. Can't wait to check out this new stuff, man.